So kids, what we have, what's proprioceptive input, which is body awareness. And okay. so that's I can close my eyes, touch my fingers together. Yeah. I can move my arm basically in the same space and that. That's because as my muscles move, they're providing feedback to the brain of where we're at, we are in space. Mm -hmm. So kids that have possible issues with that, I often liken it to like if you were in space and there was no gravity, like, you know how your body would you like that floating sensation all the time? You'd yeah. want to grab onto things, you'd want to pull on things, you'd want to hit into things because it provides that feedback. And mm -hmm. so, like, stimming behavior, things like that, it's like that centering input, like, oh, it's giving that input that I'm not naturally receiving. So, yeah, his favorite thing to do is to pour water back and forth and to spit it. Which is another thing. You get tons of input through the mouth. And, whoa, that was awesome stacking your head. Let me see if you can build something. So I'm going to give you four blocks. Four okay. blocks? Have you got four? And I've got four. Okay. Can you build a train for me? It looks like that and it goes choo choo. Can you build that with your blocks? Yeah. Two. Two. Yeah. Can you build, can you build with your blocks that? Build that. So you get a lot of like echo leg speech, like copying. It's a big concern. We have um, he has a niece, or sorry, my niece, his cousin, who's two months younger, and she's speaking in run-on full sentences. And uh, typically, girls are faster. I understand, but yeah. he's still not speaking more than maybe two words at a time, and it is gibberish a lot of the time. Well, just yeah. yeah. Like he's vocalizing, but it's not always so helpful. Mm -hmm. This is two. One is three. You're going to fall, dude. Well, that's pretty, I mean, if you're getting into those extreme positions, it does provide so much feedback. Can you draw a line like this? It goes, Good job. How about a line that goes like that? Like that. You go up. Good job. Can you draw a circle <laughs> on your paper? <laughs> Is that pretty common there? Yeah. 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 I noticed he started to do this, which is the progression. Next, you'll probably see what we call pronated grass. Yeah, his older brother has a little bit of that still. Oh, good job. Okay, let's make a circle on your paper. So, circle. It's a better reaction. Whoa! Nice. <laughs> nice. So, um, some calming input, too. So, it's like as we're sitting in the room, we got the strong fluorescent light. Mm -hmm. My voice echoes in this room. Mm -hmm. we got the blocks going. We've got people over there talking. We got, and for somebody on the spectrum or with the sensory things, they're not filtering all that information. So everything is drying, like the clothing and that. Like that's why a lot of kids don't like that clothing necessary because mm -hmm. it's every time I move, I feel it, and like our brain just ignores it. But there's become hyper focused on it, and so. A lot of times when you see kids doing like this type of behavior, so again, lots of that input through the arms and that, mm -hmm. which can help center. Yeah. Um, covering your head it limits all that extra yes. stuff that's going on. Plus, you're getting that pressure, yes. which again is that calming input. So. Yeah. They crashed again. Okay. Oh, read goodness. Carly's voice and yeah, I've seen some of the videos they've done, which is fascinating, yeah. right? Uh, you'll see like a lot of them, like when they like playing with other kids, a lot of people are like, they're so like violent or that kind of thing. No, no. One, it, it's a, that input, and second, usually there's also that, that either like language barrier, yes. social barrier, and so I don't know how to get your attention, but if I hit you, oh, it's a very out all the time. reaction. No, you're right. He's being okay. mean. No, it's he's just, not a bad boy, he just, he wants to. It's the sensory, I'm going to hit you because I know that's going to get your reaction, plus it gives that, so then you see a lot of rough tumble play with kids. Yeah, it's um, so important to realize that I think it's, mm -hmm. it's a hard, if for me to remember, I mean, um. I get frustrated when I can't talk with him and he just screams. Yeah. And I know he wants to tell me something, but he he has a hard just time. Not, yeah. yeah. So rough and tumble play, mm -hmm. like just wrestling with him is so, so good to 
Yeah, because they just get <laughs> trash again. Trash. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. Do you have any no, other thank questions? You. I think that uh, covers all of the gross and fine motor stuff I had questions about. I'm glad he's doing the pincer movement. And yeah, he's got really good pincers. He's doing better with spoons and forks. Where's the bird? <laughs> what? Where is it? Where's the bird? Not drinking on the milk. It's not drinking the milk. It's not so, okay. so what I see a lot of with him actually so far is he likes to comment, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. And, and when we talk about we um, communicative intent, yeah. okay, there's different it's kinds of intent, right? Yeah. So sometimes intent is requesting. Sometimes yeah. intent is um, yeah. initiating. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. intent it's intent it's is commenting. The, and then and then the one that that all leads up to is responding. I think that's what he's having the most trouble with now because he likes to talk about stuff. He comments a ton, right? But he's not always understood, which is right. Relevance, right? Yeah. So, but he's putting words together. Yeah, I'm really impressed with some of these things that he's putting together. You know, he's not something where he says not drinking. The, from cup and he's not e or he's eating ice cream it's so no, so there's actually some decent sentence. he is kind of hard to understand um hey but <laughs> <laughs> what do you use to drink water it's not food to eat oh it's not eat to eat oh gotcha it's not to, to eat it it's not to eat it to eat it oh. to eat it okay Look, show me what you ride. What do you ride? No. What do you ride? Show me. We actually call what we're talking about here more joint attention, okay? Because um, joint attention is me being on something, him being on something, and then this triad is all on the same thing. Mm -hmm. But his thing is he just wants to be on his thing, right? Yeah. Does that make sense to yeah. you? Yeah. Alistair, show me the nose on the dog. Where's the nose on the dog? No, no, we right. Show me. Show me the nose on the dog. Where is it? In the free, in the car. Oh, in the car? In in the in the in the car. Yeah. In in the in the in the in the car. Yeah. Here. Wow. Nothing in the car. Nothing in the car. There's nothing in the car. Oh. Look, show me the wheels on the car. Where's the wheels on the car? Show me. Wheels on the car. Show me the wheels on the car. No doggy on in the on the doggy in the car. Oh, no doggy in the car? Is that okay if I put him up there? Of course, yeah, do what you need to do. Come here. Come hey. see me. Let me see those eyes. <gasps> Hey bud. Hi. Let me see those eyes. Come here. There's mom. Can you look at? There's mom. Can you look at our friend here? Where are you going? Come okay. on. Did you drop something? Okay. Oh, you want your chair? Oh, of course. Alistair, look. Hey, where's your nose? <laughs> where's your nose? Where's Where your nose? It? Where's your nose? Let me see. Let me see. Should we do a block? Should we try it? Try. Here's a block for you. Should we put it on the nose? On the nose? Mm. Nose. 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 <laughs> no. Where's your eyes? Hey. What's that? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where it go? Where is it? Where it go? Look. What's this? <laughs> Alistair. Where are you? Come here, bud. Come here. Let me see ya. Let me see those eyes. Where's those eyes? Let's put this over here. No draw. That's getting in the way, huh? Look. Should we do it again? Are these eyes. No, we're not <laughs> eyes. Eyes. You know what? Um, the only the only things that he's really learning, mm -hmm. I I would say, yeah. a couple of things. Yeah. Don't take away his motivation, which means no. let him have some urgency. Yeah. Let him be frustrated sometimes, you know, because yeah. if you try to Make sure he's never frustrated. What urgency is there for him to go to those words? Mm -hmm. Don't let him go too far, right? We want him to not be so frustrated. Yeah, yeah, right? Um, <laughs> keep up with the play groups. That's amazing. Keep doing that. 
Um, narrate your whole day, we say. Yes. Talk about everything. And then, then the last thing I would say to you is, <laughs> is um, read with them. I'm sure you guys do. Yeah. But don't Hi. just, don't do it as you listen, I read. Do it as let's talk about the book. Like, what is this? What's, What's this? That? What's yeah. happening? And then if he kind of struggles with it, then you model it to him, right? Yeah. Because he probably will initially have a hard time in responding to those things. But but if you say, what's the bear doing? And he just talks about something else. The bear is, and then you model to him kind of how to be relevant with that. And it'll take a while. It'll take a while.